The President, please be seated. President, veuillez vous asseoir. Next, uh, may I ask a uh, member of the bench, uh, do you have any question to put to this uh, witness? Judge uh, Jean-Marc Lavange, you may proceed, please. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Bonjour, Monsieur. Uh, good morning, witness. I'm going to put a few follow-up questions to you. Tout d'abord, on all, vous a demandé ce matin quel type kind of vous euh, disposiez quand vous montiez la garde au barrage de Je n'ai pas bien compris votre réponse. Est-ce que vous pourriez nous répéter le type d'arme dont kind vous disposiez of F15 I heard ou F15 CKS, or CKS. I didn't really quite understand. C'était une so arme. Was it, um, vous nous dire quelle était son origine Est-ce qu'elle avait Est-ce qu'on pouvait tirer un coup, plusieurs Was coups Was it a one-shot weapon, or could you shoot several uh, bullets at the same time What kind of uh, weapon was it exactly <coughs> When I was uh, guarding there, they uh, armed us. Uh, that rifle was called uh, uh, CKC rifle, and we could only uh, shot it once at a time. C'était semi-automatique. On pouvait le tirer qu'une seule fois, à la fois. Donc on ne pouvait tirer qu'une seule fois, mais est-ce qu'il y avait plusieurs munitions dans le fusil Est-ce que Were there several cartridges in the magazine, or or not In one magazine, uh, there are around 10 uh, bullets. Est-ce que vous savez dans quel pays étaient fabriqués ces fusils? In which country uh, this gun was manufactured? I uh, was told that uh, it was manufactured in uh, China, and it was uh, commonly called CKC rifle. Merci. Thank you. Vous nous avez expliqué que you vous êtes us, engagé uh, comme that, soldat uh, you et que vous êtes engagé pour être un soldat absolu. Vous avez expliqué que vous ne saviez you pas exactement ce que ça exactly signifie quand vous a proposé cet engagement. Est-ce que vous pourriez nous dire so si vous avez prêté un us, serment uh, an particulier, an kind of ou s'il y avait un engagement particulier kind pour être un of, soldat um, absolu Et quel était ce serment to to become, uh, an Et quel était le oath si vous avez pris un oath The President, uh, please hold on, Mr. Witness, and Counsel, you may proceed. Counsel for Q. Sampon. Mr. Kung Sumon, thank you, Mr. President. Just would like to uh, seek clarification on the testimony provided by this uh, witness. He said uh, absolute. So absolute doesn't mean in this context the uh, absolute uh, soldier. We want uh, to my uh, recollection of the testimony of this witness, uh, absolute uh, members were selected from the mobile unit, and that person was an absolute uh, member from the mobile unit. Uh, president, witness uh, is now directed to respond to the question put forth by the judge. Je demande à présent au témoin de répondre à la question du juge. For the word absolute, it 
means that they selected uh, the absolute members. At that time, I was in the village. I raised my hand. We were ignorant uh, at that time, and we did not understand what it meant by absolute. They only put this question out to us uh, who were uh, absolute. Uh, they said something like absolute uh, in terms of construction of the dam, and then I simply raised uh, my hands, and a few others uh, raised their hands as well, and then they recruited us. So, I understand that when you were recruited, you did not understand so what the meaning of this word absolute was. So, later on, however, Une meilleure compréhension de ce que vous voulez signifier le mot absolu. Did you get a better grasp of what this term absolute meant? Est-ce que ça vous engageait? Did this commit you? D'une façon plus importante que d'autres soldats ou d'autres membres des unités mobiles. Other soldiers or then uh, other members of uh, the mobile units. Pourquoi disait-on absolu? Why did they say absolute? Jour, did you understand why, why or you voulait? never knew what this term absolute meant? I did not understand. They only said uh, absolute and absolute, uh, and I simply raised my hand. And then uh, eventually I uh, joined the army. And then at that time, my literal understanding was that we were absolute to join uh, the uh, army. Uh, and I joined the army in uh, Rumdul. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire, monsieur, Can you tell us, combien de temps après la prise How long euh, after du pouvoir par les Khmer Rouges de votre région, vous êtes Khmer engagé Rouge, dans l'armée. Uh, C'était peu de region, temps après le 17 avril. Was it a little while after the 17th of April? Was it several months later? Can you give us uh, some indications in that regard? The Khmer Rouge uh, came to my village for about a month, and then uh, they announced uh, to us uh, that uh, they needed people to uh, dig the canal and build a dam. Uh, from Rahan to Premon, uh, so they wanted to uh, recruit uh, people to construct uh, the dike and dam over there. Quand avez-vous intégré l'armée? When did you join the army? I constructed the uh, dam uh, with my uh, sister for about uh, half a month, and then they went to the uh, village and they uh, wanted to recruit the absolute uh, mem members. And I did not really understand what it meant by absolute. Uh, I only raised my hand and then I was recruited. They said that uh, those who raised the hand in that gathering would be considered the absolute uh, members and then uh, I was eventually recruited. When you joined the army, vous avez tout de suite été affecté dans were une you immediately unité, dans un régiment, assigned to a unit, to a regiment, du district, which was the district regiment, regiment or was regiment du secteur, this a secular regiment that later on entre was plusieurs districts. spread over several districts? Upon uh, our recruitment, uh, they uh, inscripted us into the uh, battalion uh, uh, station at Phnom Liep. And then later on, they uh, called for a meeting and then they screened us uh, and swai. 
they uh, said that those who were from the 17th April uh, people, they would be uh, uh, taken away, and then they were admitted to uh, Phnom Srok uh, military. So we were admitted into the uh, district military unit uh, in Phnom Srok. What do you mean when you're speaking, when you say that the 17 April people were brought to Plum Srok? Does that mean that the 17 April people were given weapons to become soldiers in Plum Srok? Is that what you mean? They um, remove uh, the uh, 17 uh, April people uh, for the battalion uh, members. Uh, they were for the old people only, people who were from the liberated zones. As for the 17 or new people, uh, they uh, were uh, attached uh, to the district military unit. So they sent me to the rear uh, in Phnom Srok military uh, unit dans l'unité militaire du district de Phnom Srok. Donc, si je comprends bien, les gens du 17 so, avril sont devenus well, des militaires. The 17 April people became Ou bien est-ce qu'on les a emmenés pour qu'ils soient or, exécutés Je n'ai toujours pas très bien compris. Je still, I'm not very clear about this. For the 17 April people, they, uh, there were a mixture of educated and uneducated uh, people. Uh, at that time, the Anka cadres had to screen them. They uh, screen for the ignorant, uh, the illiterate one, uh, and then they recruited uh, those who were educated. They would be uh, taken uh, and put into one group, and they uh, were attached uh, to the rear in the village. So at that time, they uh, took me out as well from the list, and then they attached me to the uh, Phnom Srok District Military Unit instead. Hier, si j'ai bien entendu, Yesterday, vous avez dit, if I understood à well, époque, you said back then, anyone éduqué, who was educated tué. was killed. Est-ce que c'est quelque chose que vous confirmez Is ou est-ce que j'ai mal entendu that you can confirm or did I not understand correctly? Those who were educated, for example, teachers, once they uh, found that uh, we were educated, uh, we, uh, they were subject to execution. So those who were educated at that time had to pretend uh, that they were illiterate. Uh, so at that time when I joined the army, I pretended to be illiterate as well. Uh, they taught us uh, some uh, uh, words and some writings and things like that uh, to to me, and I pretended uh, as if I did not know how to write and read at the time. So I followed uh, them in that uh, learning session. Fine. Je comprends donc so que vous faites partie d'une unité de personnes qui, sont, qui ont pris un engagement absolu, qui fait partie d'une unité du district. Pour autant, ce que je n'ai pas bien unit. compris, However, what I did not à qui vos supérieurs devaient faire rapport. Whom did, uh, your Il y a peut-être des contradictions qu'il faudrait éclaircir. Je peux comprendre que vos supérieurs faisaient rapport au chef du district, qui était Ta'ak. Ta Mais j'ai aussi compris que votre chef pouvait faire directement rapport à Ta'ang ou Ta'pi. Ta Et que ta -ang and that Tapi ta -ang and Tapi étaient euh, à la tête non pas du district, mais ils faisaient partie district, du secteur 5. Part J'ai également entendu and tout I à l'heure que lorsque vous étiez à Trapiang Tma, votre supérieur 
faisait aussi Your rapport à Taval. Would also report to Taval. Alors, so, est-ce que on faisait rapport à tout le monde en même temps Est-ce qu'il y a eu des changements Ou est-ce qu'il y a eu des changements Est-ce que vous pouvez nous Can éclaircir Can you somehow shed some light on this When I was attached to Trapang Thmo construction work site, I was guarding that place. If the, uh, the dam was broken, uh, I would uh, report it to uh, Taval, and Taval would uh, order to his uh, subordinates uh, to reinforce uh, the workforce uh, to the place in order to uh, prevent it from uh, being uh, destroyed. And then uh, Tahat would uh, report it to the uh, district committee. On faisait référence au comité de district. Donc c'est Taval so qui faisait référence au comité de district. Taval who was being referred to at the district committee. Ou Tanak. Or was it Tanak? Taval was the commander over there, so everything would uh, report uh, to him Donc from the, uh, the mobile units, uh, all mobile units uh, subordinate to Sector 5 had to report to Taval. They had to uh, prepare all the reports uh, from all mobile units uh, to Taval. Enfin, tous les rapports des unités mobiles étaient envoyés à Taval. Est-ce que le barrage de Trapinkma, d'un point de vue From géographique, était situé sur le district de Pnomsrok District in Pnomsrok District. Yes, Trapang uh, 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 Dam was located in oui. Phnom Srok district, Bante Minjai province. Phnom Srok province de Bante Minjai. À un moment, vous avez évoqué point, que you, vous avez été envoyé pour monter la garde sent à un to endroit, guard une forêt, in a forest, qui s'appelle Chamkar Knoll, called Chamkar Knoll, le jardin ou la plantation de jacquier. Jackfruit plantation. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire so si à ce moment-là vous étiez toujours then, membre de l'armée du district de Plumstrock et est-ce que l'endroit où vous étiez était situé sur le district de Plumstrock When they uh, sent me to stand guard uh, in Chamka Co, monter la garde à Chamka Co. Uh, uh, road. I was uh, at that time in the uh, sector military in mid 1975. D'accord. Okay. Donc vous avez so, parfois été placé sous l'autorité de l'armée du secteur under the et parfois sous l'autorité de l'armée du district. Il y a eu des changements dans vos situations. Est-ce que c'est so bien ce qu'on doit comprendre uh, your, um, Before the uh, sector military recruited the Avant absolute uh, members, Avant and then later on they screened us, and then they uh, segregated us. Uh, the 17 APRO people were attached to the uh, district military unit. So we were uh, subordinate to uh, Tanak uh, military unit uh, attached to the district. Bien. Fine. Quand vous montiez la gare à Chamkar Knoll, est-ce que vous avez vu des camions militaires passer Est-ce que vous avez vu des camions qui transportaient des prisonniers Trucks transporting prisoners. 
No, I never saw no. uh, those uh, trucks because I was standing guard along the road in uh, Chamka Kno uh, in today's uh, it is called uh, Satmai. I was actually standing guard along that road. J'aimerais aussi éclaircir un point qui like concerne les rapports uh, entre l'armée et la the milice. The army and the Vous avez dit you que c'était essentiellement les miliciens qui avaient la charge d'arrêter les gens. Uh, et vous avez dit que people. vous aussi, vous êtes well entré dans vos fonctions d'arrêter les gens, et notamment les gens qui tentaient de s'enfuir. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous préciser so comment se répartissaient les rôles entre l'armée et les militiens they were uh, the they had separate tasks uh, the militia uh, got the work uh, in the commune and village and as for soldiers uh, they were in charge of um, uh, monitoring people who fled um, into the jungles or they left uh, the military unit Quand les miliciens when arrêtaient quelqu'un, à qui le remettait-il Et est-ce qu'à un moment, ces personnes étaient remises person aux soldats de l'armée at, at Once the militiamen arrested uh, the people, they would refer them to the hat, uh, the uh, district uh, committee, and sometimes they executed uh, them by themselves. So the militiamen sometimes would uh, execute the people that they had arrested themselves. Ces personnes arrêtées étaient remises aux soldats de l'armée. Were these uh, arrested people handed over to uh, the army? They uh, never refer to uh, the military. They only refer to the upper echelon, and then they would refer it to others because they had to uh, report it uh, to their chain of command. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire quelles étaient les mesures qui étaient prises pour surveiller la frontière avec la Thaïlande Est-ce qu'on avait peur que les gens s'enfuient en Thaïlande Et quelles étaient les mesures to uh, watch over the Thai border. That I do not know uh, the situation along Khmer Thai border because I was somewhere in Khon uh, Klein. Khon uh, Klein was uh, quite close uh, to uh, Trapiangt Mall and when I was over there I never met uh, people Et who were arrested on fleeing étais, and that's why I did not know uh, about it. Et donc, euh, je ne le sais pas. Est-ce que vous avez entendu parler de l'existence de trois lignes de front de combat pour garder la frontière Est-ce que vous avez entendu parler de pièges about en traps, bambou traps. I heard uh, it uh, through 
rumors uh, that at the time the elderly uh, in the village in the villages uh, would sharpen the bamboo stick uh, as a trap. Uh, at that time, uh, they would uh, send those uh, bamboo sticks uh, to the soldiers and uh, they would be uh, taken to the border line. But I did not know how it all worked uh, with uh, the uh, bamboo stick that was sent, but I heard uh, some rumors about that. Hier, well, nous avons yesterday, parlé des tests we spoke about que faisait the tests aux that were qui given to avoir people who were des problèmes de vision claiming de ne pas to voir have uh, eyesight problems at night, who, people who said that they could not avez see at night. So did you ever hear about such tests that would have consisted in having people walk at des night où on mis in de la places uh, where uh, embers were placed? I never saw it. I only heard it from the mobile unit uh, who was a station close to my village. They uh, said uh, that uh, those who pretended to have uh, night vision uh, problems, they would ask them to walk, uh, uh, you know, past the hole. Uh, and uh, if they really had the night vision problems, uh, they would fall into the hole, but they would pull them uh, back. Uh, but those who could avoid it, then uh, they actually did not uh, suffer from night vision problem. So uh, those who actually fell into the hole, uh, they would be uh, saved and uh, they uh, would be uh, re-educated and they advise them uh, to avoid the so-called uh, conscious uh, illness. And if they were educated and then they did not uh, uh, correct themselves, uh, the next time if they found repeating the same thing, they would eventually be killed. Mais ça, ces tests avec les fosses, these tests with the pits, is this something that you saw personally or not? No, I did not uh, see it uh, by uh, myself. I heard it from uh, other workers who have uh, constructed, uh, who have constructed a uh, dam. He told me that uh, one man uh, pretended to have night vision uh, problems, and then he asked uh, the, them to rest at night, and then they were given the test to that man, and then he actually fell into that uh, hole, and then this person was known as uh, suffering from night vision uh, problem. But the other one uh, did not suffer from that. Uh, then he uh, avoid the uh, hole, then the uh, unit uh, chief push him into the uh, hole, and then later he was saved, and then he was sent uh, for uh, criticism, uh, for self-criticism, uh, and then uh, a re-fashion. Uh, that's what I heard from uh, uh, one worker uh, over there, then I learned from him about that. Et les tests où on fait marcher and des gens de nuit à un endroit où il y a de la braise. Vous l'avez entendu, night, uh, vous l'avez vu. Over embers. Did you hear about this? Uh, did you see it? No, that I never saw it uh, by myself. I only heard from the mobile uh, unit members. Uh, they talk from one uh, to another. J'ai entendu deux membres d'unité mobile en parler entre eux. They uh, they uh, work uh, very hard and some uh, try to uh, employ other uh, trick uh, in order to avoid being forced to work. D'autres astuces pour éviter d'avoir être euh, devoir travailler. 
Tout à l'heure, vous avez parlé Earlier, des billets de banque que vous bank aviez bank notes that apparently you Et, saw. Euh, est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire Can un peu plus À quel moment avez-vous vu ces billets de banque des billets de banque des billets de banque des billets de banque à quelle période In which period? Des... Peu après le 17 avril 1975 ou c'était peu avant l'arrivée des pour la banque note, it was la monnaie about two months before uh, the arrival of uh, the Vietnamese. Deux mois avant l'arrivée des Vietnamiens. And then uh, I heard uh, from them that this was the uh, bank notes for our salary uh, for combatants. We got about 10 real. And those who had, uh, uh, those who were in the uh, head of the unit, or so they got 20 real. And then I asked, where you got this uh, bank note from? He said, uh, I got it from a brother. And then I uh, took the notes and uh, reviewed it. I saw in the notes uh, there was uh, pictures of people harvesting crops, uh, people carrying hose. Et qui on that bank note, uh, uh, it was a bit uh, dark brown in, in color uh, on that note. And for about two months, the Vietnamese uh, soldiers uh, came and liberated. Donc, lorsque vous avez vu ces billets de banque, So when you saw à ce moment-là, est-ce qu'on peut dire que les cadres Do we take it de la zone nord-ouest avaient déjà été arrêtés zone, par les forces de la zone sud-ouest sud But by that time, the Northwest uh, group had all been arrested by the Southwest, and the money was uh, organized by the latter group. Je ne comprends pas trop. Vous voulez dire que ce sont les gens, euh, les cadres du Sud-Ouest qui ont organisé euh, la circulation de monnaie dans la zone Nord-Ouest je ne doute pas que les avocats de la défense aient beaucoup de questions à vous poser à ce sujet. No je n'ai pas d'autres questions en ce qui me concerne à poser à ce témoin. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions pour le Président. Je vous remercie, Juge Lavergne. The chamber now hands the floor to the defense teams to put questions to this witness. First, the floor is given to the defense team for Nguyen Chi, and counsel, you may proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Mr. Witness. Um, I have indeed quite a few questions uh, for you, um, to put to you. I would like to start Uh, with questions relating to uh, exactly when you were guarding as a militiaman uh, the Trapping Khmer Dam, because that's uh, still quite confusing to me. Um, I understand it's difficult to think in terms of months and dates, but um, If I would provide you some of these dates, maybe that would somehow refresh your memory, Mr. Witness. Um, yes, uh, the, the, the day before yesterday, uh, in the same courtroom, 
heard a witness say that the work at the top Ying Tmah Dam started on the 14th of February 1977 and that just before Khmer New Year, uh, mid-April 77, the work was finished. Um, we also have um, a copy of a speech that the Northwest Zone leader Ross Nim or Runim uh, gave in December 1977 before Chinese guests, uh, during which he said uh, that the work at the dam was completed within a period of two months. And in addition to this, there's also a revolutionary flag of June 77 saying that the work was finished in May 77. Now, would it be possible that when you performed your duty as a militiaman at the top in Dam work site, that that was between mid-February and sometime the end of April 1977. I do not get your question, Council. <laughs> I, I understand it was a long question. What I did uh, was um, giving some um, evidence on specific dates during which the dam was constructed. And this evidence suggests that the dam was constructed between mid-February 1977 and Khmer New Year 77, maybe a few weeks longer. So my question to you is, would it be possible that you worked as a militia guard at the dam between mid-February 1977 and April, May 1977. Well, I was on my guard duty at the work site. And uh, that was uh, under the instruction of the NAP. We were there to, to guard the dam uh, work site. And at that time, the dam was not fully completed. And then the Southwest group arrived, and the NAS group was uh, arrested. Then we were removed from the dam uh, work site and reintegrated into a, a mobile unit at the village level, not at the sector level. Then I was assigned to go and pick up a cow dung. In fact, we were assigned to do that work under the pretext that we would later on be arrested and killed. And we tried not to make any mistake during this period of time. Allow me, excuse me, to interrupt you. Maybe I should ask it differently. Do you know whether the Tapping Tama Dam work site was, the construction of it was finished? By the time it was Khmer New Year in 1977. I did not know which month the dam construction was completed. However, I know that after our group had been reassigned, and I only saw uh, a small number of uh, 
mobile unit workers uh, working all the time, and there were only about a hundred of them. But allow me to stress, I cannot recall the exact period. Um, I understand. Let me try another question. Um, had you left the trapping Tmar Dam work site by the time Tarval was arrested? Avant que Taval ne soit arrêté. My group left the work site after Taval, Tana, and Réponse. his group, group had been arrested. Tavall, Tana, and the, there were only 90 soldiers who remained on site. Then we were instructed to lay down our arms, and then we were reassigned uh, into the mobile unit under the control of Tamaung. And Tamaung was a person Tamaung from the southwest. Du sud uh, uh, okay, now we're getting somewhere, Mr. Witness. Um, do you recall bien, how many témoin, days or how many weeks um, la, la it was after Taval's arrest that you were um, reassigned? Avant que vous ne soyez redéployé? Taval and his group had been Taval arrested for a fortnight. Then they came to conduct a research amongst the, so the Northwest uh, soldiers, that is us, working at the dam work site. Then we were called to gather at the Phnom Rock district office to lay down our arms there. And after that, we were reassigned to work in a mobile unit. Um, okay, it seems clear to me now, Mr. Witness, uh, when you left them. Now let's try to see if we can figure out uh, when exactly you arrived at the dam. Do you recall when you arrived for the first time at the dam? whether there were 10,000 or 15,000 people already working, or, was it, or did these people still have to come? After I had been reassigned to work in a mobile unit, I went to pick up cow dams and I saw 100 people remained on site at the dam uh, work site in order to, to guard and to uh, maintain the dam in case there was a crack uh, on uh, the dam wall. But I cannot recall uh, when it was, whether it was still in 76 or in 1977. I'm not, not sure if I entirely follow your answer, but um, were you stationed at the dam before all those thousands of mobile unit workers uh, would arrive? Avant de ces and if yes, de how many weeks or days was that before? De jours, ou de semaines avant de ces the large Réponse. number of mobile units Le were actually reassigned to work at the Tapeang uh, them work site, and only a small number of uh, mobile unit workers uh, remained on site to do the uh, maintenance and the repair work. Um, I'm sure it's my question, uh, Mr. Witness, but one last time. When you first laid eyes on the dam, were there already many people working? 
beaucoup de gens en train Or de travailler Ou bien le travail n'avait-il pas encore commencé When I first uh, saw uh, workers at the uh, dam, lorsque pour la première fois j'ai vu des travailleurs, that was when I was at Golden Klein area. I saw people Klein, connecting the measurement and the land surveying at the Trapeantement Dam website. Sur le site du barrage de Trapeantement. And after, et après, I saw the sector mobile unit workers coming down to the site, venir and venir actually the they were gathered from various villages and communes within the sector, and there were tens of thousands of them working at the uh, dam worksite. Okay, thank, thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, now, one other thing which uh, is something that I'm not quite sure if I understand correctly. In um, your statement to the investigators of the uh, investigating judge, in question um, uh, 30, um, you said the following. The question is, um, before you were recruited as a district soldier, how long had you worked at the Trapping Tamar Dam? And then you answered, I did not work for long. I stayed there for around 10 days. Then they recruited me as a Phnom Rock district soldier. So what is exactly this period of 10 days referring to? Cette période de 10 jours, à quoi fait-elle référence exactement? When I was a, a, a soldier and that Réponse, I soldat, was there for the 10 day period, et que I still remained uh, at the vicinity of the Trapeantement. All right, um, I will move on, Mr. Witness. Um, and that is relating to your guarding duty. Je passe à uh, in your DC CAM statement, um, English ERN um, 0072-8728 and Khmer 0073302-7. Um, you said at Trapping Tma, there weren't too many troops. There was only a military platoon. There were many troops at Kong Kleng. Question, therefore, there was only a military platoon at Trapping Tma then? Yes, a platoon of Ta'a. Um, Was one of the instructions uh, from Ta'at to uh, the members of this platoon um, to guard all 10,000 or 15,000 workers? Uh, this platoon, was that deemed sufficient to guard all those people? Ta'at was in charge of the uh, of a platoon, and he assigned his uh, subordinates to get along the crest of the dam at uh, a prolonged uh, train and at the main train. That's the two areas uh, he placed his guards. How many men were in this platoon? Et combien d'hommes y avait-il dans cette section In the platoon, there were Réponse. 30 members. Il y avait 30 membres dans la section. And they were placed, one group was placed at one location and another group was placed at the second location, as I mentioned. And what was exactly 
the instruction for the one group Question. and what was the instruction uh, from Ta'at to the other group? What, was, what were both groups supposed to do exactly? to give instructions to his subordinates to stand guard and to monitor if any worker attempted to flee. Um, in your DC camp statement, um, on English, uh, page 0072827 and command 0073025, um, you said that when you were guarding there were actually no uh, escapees. Um, but I was, I'm wondering how Ta'at thought it was possible to Comment guard 15,000 or even 20,000 workers with only uh, so few men in one platoon. So he assigned uh, those soldiers to guard there. Il avait désigné and that they had to work a 24-hour shift, and the shift had to be uh, constantly on rotation. Et and workers did not dare uh, to flee as they were not familiar with the uh, location, and it was uh, near uh, jungles, that is, uh, pre clan and pre domrei um, thank you, Mr. Witness. I will move on now to ask you some questions about uh, Tavao. Um, is it correct when I say that the time that you worked at the dam, that the vast majority of that time, Tavao was the leading commander? était le commandant en chef. I don't get your question, Council. Je n'ai pas compris votre question. Um, the period that you were guarding as a militiaman at the dam, was Taval at all times the responsible commander for the work at the dam? La responsabilité de commandant sur le barrage. Uh, C'était Taval qui uh, était in, uh, responsable général dans le secteur 5. En fait, il était responsable de tous les projets de construction du barrage dans le secteur 5 parce qu'il y avait des unités qui avaient été déployées sur plusieurs dams et plusieurs unités de barrage, Spien Strang, Tropeng Tbo, dams de barrage. So he was in charge of all the forces in the sector mobile units. He was also in charge of those mobile unit workers working at the village level. They were all under his supervision. So it was Tuval who was responsible uh, for the working conditions, um, for the working times, uh, for the treatment of people who were sick. That's correct, isn't it? For workers who fell sick, Pour les travailleurs qui tombaient malades, they would be checked by medical staff on site. However, these medical staff did not have any modern medicine. They only had traditional medicine. Sometimes they made this software 
pellets from herbs for the treatment of various uh, fevers and other conditions. And in fact, the pellet was about uh, the size of a thumb. It was uh, pretty large. And uh, for the current time, I don't think we can swallow it. Mr. Witness, the testimony that you have been giving this morning and yesterday uh, about all the things that you saw uh, while at the dam, uh, the things that people um, were suffering from, etc., that was all from the very beginning till the end the responsibility of Taval. Is that correct? From 1975 until the day the regime fell, Tava was overall in charge in the area. Whether uh, it was the forces in the mobile units or not. Um, in fact, um, when asked by the investigator of DC Cam, en fait, you called call the trapping command dam, quote unquote, the Taval dam. Le barrage, is that, is that, je cite, de true? Taval. Est-ce exact? Est-ce que cette affirmation est exacte? Yes, Réponse. people in oui. sector 5, that is in Bante Mijay province, province knew that uh, the dam was also referred to as uh, Taval's dam, as he was of all in charge there, and he was the one who led the forces uh, to build the dam. So that dam was referred to Donc, as uh, Taval, and not only that, the Grand Mont Dam, the other dams, including the dam at Prémont, were also referred to as uh, Taval's dams, as they were initiated and built by him. Now, Mr. Witness, let's talk a little bit um, about this Taval. Uh, you have yourself described him as um, an absolutist person. Cette comme étant Was Taval, in your recollection, uh, a vicious, mean person, or was he a kindly and gentle person? Kind and gentle person. Kind and gentle person. Or was he a kind and gentle person? Kind and gentle person. Or was he a kind and gentle person? Kind and gentle person. Taval was a very mean person. His words were very mean, and nobody dared to look at his face. If he found out that a person committed an offense, then he would send that person to be executed, and that. The, result, the, the reason people feared him. Let me, um, Mr. Witness, um, refer to a few things that other people who were quite familiar with Taval have said about him. Um, there is one person who called him um, a very unkind and ruthless man, Donc, il a very good at reprimanding others. Et son pitié, uh, he was a killer and a very autres, vicious person. De lui que uh, un would you agree with this? Êtes-vous d'accord? President, Mr. Witness, please hold on, and the deputy co-prosecutor, co you have the floor. I mean, I think the witness has already given his own uh, uh, testimony about this. But if counsel wants to refer other documents, I think he should identify it. I don't think he should be uh, 
providing his own characterization if, if he wants to refer these statements to the witness. I'm not sure why, given the witness's testimony and answer why it's necessary, but I think you should specifically reference the documents that he wants to use here. When I was saying very good at reprimanding others, very unkind and ruthless, I was referring to E3 uh, slash 8991. Uh, I think it's wiser not to give the name of this particular person yet. Um, English ERN 00969903 and Khmer 00736232. Um, when I was saying that Talval was a killer, I referred to uh, E3 slash 7805, English ERN 00277815, and Khmer 00267743. And there was another witness who called Talval very vicious, and that was E3 slash 9052. English, ERN, and Khmer, I will give you, uh, Mr. President, with your leave uh, later. Uh, so these are the apparently characteristics of Daval. Um, Mr. Witness, do you agree with this, um, what these witnesses have to say about Daval? From my observation, the way he uh, spoke and the way he worked, he was very mean, and we should not make any uh, mistake and let him know. President, thank you, Council. The time is appropriate for our lunch break. Uh, we take a break now and resume at 1.30 this afternoon so that we can continue our proceedings. Court officer, please uh, assist the witness at the waiting room for witnesses and civil parties during the lunch break and invite him, including his uh, duty counsel, back into the courtroom at 1.30 this afternoon. Security personnel, you are instructed to take Kyosun Pon to the waiting room downstairs and have him returned to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess.